morning. It's uh, January the 12th. And I'm going to get some of these lettuce seeds that we grow each year started. These are heirloom varieties. This is a... Get it to focus. Paris Island heirloom variety. And this is a... Black Seeded Simpson heirloom variety. And we're going to plant them in these five ounce cups. And uh, a shout out to our friend Mark, who knew it was planting season, getting ready to get started. So he donated about 900 cups for us to get our gardening started with. So we'll make sure he gets some goodies when everything's ready to be harvested. So let me see if I can set this up here, get it a little closer for you. Um, what I do is I fill these cups up with potting mix and I watered them heavily this morning with rainwater. It's uh, raining today here, so about 5 o'clock this morning the storms come through. So I set some 5-gallon buckets out and uh, filled them up with rainwater. I try to use rainwater when I can. If I can't use rainwater, I use our filtered water. So uh, I filled these up with the uh, potting mix, and I use Pro Mix. Um, you can get a bag at Menards. I think here in Indiana, the only place I can find that is at Menards. It's about $15, but you get two, a big bale of it. It's two cubic feet, and I start all of our seedlings in in uh, this mix works out fine versus buying a tiny little bag at the store and paying seven or eight dollars for it so we'll uh what i do is i'll take this barbecue skewer and i put a little piece of tape there for about a to make this a uh, little point about a half inch yeah the seed packet says Plant them a uh, quarter inch deep, <clears throat> quarter to half inch deep. So I'll go ahead and make it about a half inch deep. Try to get everything in. Put a piece of tape on there so that I know. And I'll go through here and I'm going to plant four seeds in each cup. I'm going to double it up. And what I like to do is put my holes on opposite ends of the cup. If I plant four seeds right in the middle, it's very hard to get those broken apart. And what I'm after is about uh, to get two plants out of each cup. And that'll fill our barrels up where we're going to plant the lettuce this year. And these things are tiny. So uh, I just make two holes opposite sides of the cup so that it's easy to break apart. Let me get my glasses on because these things are tiny little seeds. And you can see, if I can get it over here, just how small these things are. They're like a carrot seed. So we'll take and put two there. Actually, I think that was three, but that's okay. Like I say, they're about as small as a carrot seed. And if you've ever grown carrots, you know how tiny they are. So I'm trying to get two in each hole, but it's looking like I'm getting three or four. But when they come up, I can snip these things off. So that's uh, that's these guys. And I think I spilled them everywhere. So we'll get the ones that's not in the water yet. I don't have fingernails, so or too long of fingernails, so there we go. And then what I'll do is just go ahead and take this barbecue skewer and mash them down in there real good. 
and they kind of like to stick to the side of the skewer so want to make sure we get them in the hole and we get them down in there and then I'll just come in here and and I'll mash that soil right back over the holes and this uh Just to try to get that stick out of there. There we go. And this uh, seed starting mix, it's not a seed starting mix. It's just a potting mix. But uh, it's very moist. Like I say, I watered them in real heavy and I let the cup sit in the sink and drain. So it's real moist. So that gets those guys going. And then we'll let me see if I can get over here and turn this like this. And these are a little different. Those were a tannish color. And these guys Let's see if we can get that in the If I can get it to focus. You can see these are little uh, uh, black seeds. Tiny little things. Again, they look like carrot seeds. And these are heirloom varieties. So I think what we're going to do this year is um, maybe try to let some go to seed and see if we can get our own seeds out of it. When lettuces and spinaches, when you try to grow them in the heat of the year, they just don't grow well. They like to bolt when it gets hot, and that means they'll form a flowering head in the center of the plant and it'll stop producing the leaves that you're going to be eating for your spinach and make a flower head. So that's my, we might try that this year. So let me make sure to get them down in there. This is very hard to see because they're the same color as the dirt. And I probably put about four or five seeds in each hole. But I'll snip them off with some scissors when they come up, if they come up. Lord willing, they come up and we everything does well. So we'll get them mashed down there a little bit. I can see the water coming out of the cups right there. You can see it dripping. It's heavily saturated. So it shouldn't take long at all for these seeds to start. And I've got my grow lights already set up for us in there. We've got a few things going. I just put the onions in the uh, under the grow lights. They started sprouting out for me. So we got our onions in there. And I've got another variety of onions I'm going to grow make a video probably tomorrow on starting our different variety of onions. So that's it. That's about all you need to do. And I'll I'll put some tape back on the corner of my packs here. And uh, we'll just get these things. It's, it's simple. You, you, you can grow lettuces and spinaches. I could actually take this milk uh, container here, this gallon milk jug that I've cut off for a reservoir. That's what we're going to do. We're going to set these in here. Let me just do this. Go ahead and get them in there. So when I water them, I'll just pour the water in the bottom and it'll wick up through the bottom and then I don't have to disturb the soil on top because I'm going to cover this soil with, uh, with some play sand to stop our fungus gnats. So we'll put that in there, but you could fill, you could drill some holes in the bottom or poke some holes in the bottom of a milk jug and, and just start them like that in there and then grow them in there if you wanted to, but they may not get to be a big plant for you. But I've grown these lettuces in one gallon pots and harvested lettuce out of them. So you don't have to have a big garden. You could take these and put in a bucket. You can take and grow them in a in a flower pot. Uh, they grow really small uh, and and tall, um, and you don't need a lot of space for them. I think on the on the spacing here, on the seed packet, it's uh, it says spacing after thinning to ten to twelve inches. So you can pack a lot of these guys in a small amount of space. So there we go. There's our Paris Island lettuce and our black seeded Simpson lettuce. 
and we'll get these in there under the lights and uh after they sprout we'll do another video so thanks for watching